Ethiopian military officials mourned their late Prime Minister Meles Zenawi. As Meles' flag-draped coffin was brought into Mescal Square, the venue for the ceremony, few could contain their grief. Some collapsed. The coffin was accompanied by mourning relatives, including his widow, Azeb Mesfin, seen here being comforted by officials. Dozens of foreign leaders and dignitaries, including at least 20 African presidents, were here to pay their last respects to Mele Zenawi, and they paid him a glowing tribute. His was a life of immense courage, vision, and enterprise which he devoted to the advancement of his fellow citizens in this country and across Africa. This is a painful period for the people of Ethiopia to lose such a young leader, a patriot and a visionary. And the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Suzanne Rice, also praised the man she called a personal friend. In his children and in all children, Mela saw the promise of renewal and the power of hope. But critics of Mela say he was a dictator who jailed members of the opposition and went after independent journalists. These are some of the mourners who turned out to bid a final farewell to their late prime minister. While well, some are from Addis Ababa, others are from the other regions of Ethiopia. And they are now joining a procession that will escort the body to its final resting place. The burial took place at Addis Ababa's Holy Trinity Church, where some of the country's most prominent leaders are buried. And with Meles' funeral over, attention will now turn to Ethiopia's future and the issue of who will succeed him. Analysts say his chosen successor, Haile Mariam Des Alain, will at best be a placeholder. The 47-year-old Haile Mariam, who is currently acting prime minister, is from southern Ethiopia. It's not clear if the old guard in the ruling party will allow him to keep the post after 2015, when the country holds its next election. But the government is clear on one thing. The transition will be a smooth one. Mohamed Ado Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.